Okay, hello everybody. Uh, this video today is going to be similar to one I did before. Um, it's going to be how you can use um, the atmospheric kit and the, the filtration modules to uh, uh, gather gases from ice that you find. Now, in my previous video, I had uh, a whole bunch of scrubbers sitting inside a sealed room where you'd put ice in a chute and it would come inside and the scrubbers were connected to tank, uh, tank connectors on the ground and um, they would come out to uh, those tanks sitting out there. The downside of this was is that you'd have to go in and swap batteries out, it wasn't like a build and forget type of thing. So what I have over here is more a build and forget type of thing. So what I have outside is uh, three tanks with pumps. Um, you can probably guess what they are by the colors I've used. Now uh, this one's collecting oxygen. Um, this one's connecting the volatiles. And the one down the end, I've got water and nitrogen in there. Don't worry about that. Um, so the kit we're going to be using is the, it's called the item kit at atmospherics for those of you in the space map where you can spawn stuff in. So uh, let's just see, yeah, kit atmospherics. So it has two building options, an air conditioner. I'll do another video about that, but today we're focusing on the filtration. So I'll just drop one out here and explain what it does. So you have power and data for it to work. You have to have it hooked up with power and you turn it on with the button. Now these two slots here are for gas filters. So you can do what I was doing over there and filter out water and nitrogen and put it in one tank. Um, you can use this in your base if you want to filter out, say, carbon dioxide and um, pollutants and put them in one tank. You can put two filters in one, but as far as I'm using it in there, I, I think I'm only using one filter in each of them. So uh, I'll, I'll go in and I'll explain more about the filters and how I have it set up in there, but I'll, I'll just go through the other points on uh, this filter here. So you've got three ports. You have um, an input an output and a waste. So how it works is you pass gas in the input and anything which matches the filters here gets put through the output pipe. And anything that doesn't match the filters goes out the waste. So if you want to set this up to say filter out oxygen, you would have an input connected to a vent or something. You'd have an oxygen filter and then you'd have the output going to an oxygen bottle and then the waste would go to wherever you want to pass the other gases. So I'm just going to go in here and um, show you the setup. So to start with, to get all the, the ice in here, I've just got a little chute set up that allows me to dump ice in without having to enter. Um, I have a heater here to warm up the room, but um, when I was testing this, it was very good at igniting the whole room. If there was a small amount of volatiles and oxygen in here, it would just, the whole room would catch on fire. So uh, I recommend not having uh, that heater there. So I've got a gas sensor in here and I use, I use that to monitor the pressure of the room and the temperature from the outside. So. This is our first uh, filter module, so what we have, I've got water and nitrogen in there, so that, so here's our intake here, uh, this is just a passive vent. Now, when you have a passive vent connected to a pipe, the pressure in the room and the pressure in the pipe will equalize. So you don't need to pump air into these things, you just have a passive vent and as the machine draws the, the, the gases in the room in, it will get replenished, the pressure in this pipe will get replenished by the passive vent. Okay, so 
so if it if the what's coming here matches water or nitrogen it goes through the output and out through the wall and I'll just go out here quickly and that's that first pipe back there so anything that matches water or nitrogen will go into that that pipe and then this pump just makes sure that it's trying to depressurize that and put everything into that tank now all the other gases that don't or you know, water isn't really a gas but it flows in pipes so anyways anything which gets taken into this filter that doesn't match water and nitrogen will go out the waste so your oxygen your carbon dioxide your pollutants your volatiles will all go through this pipe here so then I pass that into the next one now this one just has the volatiles um, so that's the only thing that's getting passed into that output and that goes to that red tank and then anything which doesn't everything which is put in which doesn't match that comes out and goes around into the intake for this one now in here I've got oxygen and then the outputs over here and goes to the blue oxygen tank and then the the waste anything which doesn't match comes out here so in general, the, the stuff which doesn't get uh, picked up by this system would be uh, pollutants and CO2. So I'm just taking out the, the two uh, filters in here um, and I'll, I'll run the system. Now the reason why I wanted to take them out is that getting this system started is a bit challenging like you for the ice to melt you need to have gas in the room and to get it started melting it doesn't if you just dump ice into the room it won't melt there needs to be like some gas to transfer the heat for it to melt so what I'm going to do to accomplish this is um, I'm just gonna lock myself in the room or shut the door and I'll just uh, spawn in some yeah the this ice okay I'm lucky now it's now it's melting so what I was going to do if it didn't melt is I was going to press J to turn my jet pack on and typically your standard propellant your jet pack is nitrogen so that's why I took the filter out of there so the nitrogen would get passed through the whole system and then dump back out into the room so you maintain like a, a minimum pressure in the room but I'm just going to do that anyway just to get some nitrogen in the room so I'm just like using the jet pack to jump up so that means even after all the the gas from that ice is uh, being collected by the system and pumped into the tank there'll be some nitrogen left in the room so this is happily going and you can see that uh, the pressure is going up in here because that's the one which is filtering it out we are seeing a little bit I saw that tick up not sure why maybe I've got some just air I might have air in my propellant tank and yeah there's nothing coming into there but uh, so this is very similar to my other one so if you want to spawn in say some oxide you grab it put it in here dump it in it falls in there you can see and it's uh, starting to melt so here we can monitor the pressure I think the room will probably uh, uh, a, a wall will blow off if you get too high maybe over like 120 kPa I don't know exactly when that happens but I just try and keep it below 100 and I just open the door if it gets too big too high there so you can see that this is uh, getting collected now and that there's still some flung into there so yeah uh, if you have some gas in here which isn't captured by the filters like nitrogen or you could even put some pollutants in there or some carbon dioxide as long as there's some pressure circulating ice will get melted when you dump it in there and you can uh, just dump uh, the ice in there and collect it with the tanks and then you can go take these tanks uh, to the rest of your base and um, use them for whatever you want to do so that's the that's about it for this uh, filtration tutorial 
if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, give me a thumbs down. Uh, leave some notes in the comments if you've got some more ideas for me to go through and explain. Let me know if you want some of this explained better, a bit slower. Uh, catch you guys next time.